Today we're going to talk about um, candles and how to put uh, candles in a candlestick. You want to have your candle absolutely level. It could be the floor, could be the table, uh, but at the end of the day you, 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 you want to have the candle so that it's bolt upright if you want to avoid drips. Uh, so depending on what setup you have, have, have a little look at the end unless you're, uh, I'm pretty good at judging when, when it's uh, level. So we're going to cut this to about a quarter of an inch. We're just going to trim the wick off a bit. Uh, you can leave it long because you can always take a bit more off later, but you can't add without stripping wax away. And we'll go into more advanced like, things like that in a later video. We just want to make sure it's secure. And one of the best ways to make sure you know it's going to be secure is the depth of the socket. Um, this one's quite shallow. If I put this in, it can get knocked quite easily. The easiest way to solve that is, is to simply take a piece of foil and you want to wrap it up a little bit into a strip and then simply wrap it around the base of the candle. The other thing is if the candle really won't fit is just to simply take a small paring knife and shave little bits off. Take little pieces down and keep trying. You want to leave enough wax so that you have to push the candle in a little bit. Something you might want to look into if, in case there, there is the odd drip is, these are called a bobeche. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a French word. It's a little tray with a hole and this quite simply slides over the candle and catches any wax that'll be coming down. Uh, these come in silver, all different finishes. You can get ceramic ones. These are glass ones with a little silver edge on them. And that just goes around there. Anything that comes down, you're not spending hours cleaning this. So now we're going to light the candle. I always like to use one of these. Matches, when you're doing a lot of candles, can get a little hot. That should melt away. So we can use a snuffer to turn it out, which is going to give you smoke. If you're doing dozens of candles in a room, that could set off your fire alarm. Smoke detector. Or the other way, which I usually do, is to dip your fingers. Now, if you're going to do it this way, you're not extinguishing it by pressing your fingers together. You will burn yourself if you do that. What you're basically doing is transferring the water from your fingers to the wick. And the, that will just simply like that. Then it shouldn't smoke as much. After you've extinguished a candle, if it's on a table, especially if you've got a cloth or you don't want it to, just leave it for 10 minutes. The wax will solidify and it'll all be ready for next time. Please send me your questions. I hope this was clear. There'll be written instructions on the website. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.